and thank you so much for joining me once again for the July 2014 Hip Kit Design Team box opening. So as every month, I'm super excited to get this in the mail and just see what fun goodies have come this month for me to create with. So here I'm going to start with the main kit, which um, even if you only pick one thing to get from our kit, I would definitely say the main kit because it has a little bit of everything as far as textures and colors and patterns. And right now I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what is in the main kit and then we'll actually go into um, close-ups of what you get and the brands and such but really love the main kit always just because you get all the fun papers you get some chipboards some stickers some alphas so here are some Teresa Collin um, chipboard pieces as well as buttons and some daily flash October afternoon pieces and I just love all these colors and get some fun thickers that have a fun diagonal pattern and some crepe paper um, chipboard Polaroid frames which are great for layering as well as some lawn fawn arrows that are kind of sparkly and fun and will really just highlight and make a bold statement and then here's some Teresa Collin mini market letters as well as some fun words at the bottom here that I always seem to use for um, add-on statements for the photos as layering as a layering tool really and here we have some October afternoon um, pieces, and there's a whole bunch in here. There's a lot, and I feel like a lot of these things will go for any layout, like check this out, rad, um, so you, and I really like the colors because, again, I feel like no matter what the theme of your project that you're working on, I feel like it should work. And now we're going to go ahead and get a look at our embellishment, or our papers actually. So this is a Studio Calico paper. We have a basic gray paper. I absolutely love that one. One of my favorites. This is a Teresa Collins one. Probably another favorite. I'm going to try and not say that about every single um, paper in the kit this month. But it's really hard because I just love all of them. And they're so much fun and they coordinate uh, really, really well. And uh, you guys know me, love to layer. So that's a studio calico paper. And then look at that fun chevron. Awesome. October afternoon. There's going to be really fun to cut out. This is another October afternoon paper here. It's a really pretty um, pale yellow. I'm not a fan of yellow, but I really do like that one. And this is Teresa Collins. And wait till you see the back of this. Whether you leave it like this or you watercolor, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I really can't wait to play with that. And then this October afternoon sheet is going to be really fun to cut apart and um, lay or even make your own embellishments. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you an overview of our main add-on, or this is our add-on embellishment kit. So you get some really fun thickers that are really bold, and uh, these are chipboards, so they're very sturdy. And I just feel like these are going to make a really bold statement on the layout. And you know who doesn't love gold right now super trendy and it's just gonna look great and then we have some Teresa Collins enamel dots and arrows and hearts and I love the fun um, colors in that and you get a ton of washi tape on this roll I mean it's crazy like I think I could wallpaper a wall with that and then this is gonna be really fun um, to open because this crepe paper pack I mean it is filled with stuff and the thing I really love about this ephemera pack is even though it has a theme of travel I still feel like there's enough patterns and designs and um, basically pictures in this ephemera pack that will go for any project like the sunglasses the camera you know it, it doesn't just have to go for a travel theme but um, a lot of us you know, probably do travel over the summer during the year, you know, at least once or twice. And, you know, this ephemera pack is going to be great to also use it for the travel photos. But as you can see, there are so many pieces in there. I mean, it's going to be really hard to use all of those up. I mean, they could just go for an endless amount of projects, whether it's cards or layouts. I mean, there's just so many things to use all of those fun little 
pieces on. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up our cardstock add-on kit as well as our patterned paper add-on kit. And um, I'm not going to go over the names again, but I'm going to lay them all out so you can see how well these really work together and all the fun and bold and bright patterns. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, cardstock right on top. And I'm going to flip these over so again you can see how great these go together. So thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your kit.